out of all the songs I've reviewed, this one comes close as a very interesting and well-edited preview video that I have never done on a single artist like who I'm doing today. It's another J-pop artist, but someone who actually stings Japanese and English at the same time. Yeah! That's right, everyone. I am doing another worst to best, but except it's only going to be one of the albums because this I'm doing a review on Maria Takeuchi's Variety album. And yes, it's only going to be one today because some of the other albums I have not really been interested in listening to, mostly because the fucking YouTube topic of Maria Takeuchi's only on members only playlists or you know, uh, premium premium members only. That's fucking bullshit. I'm gonna do another rant on that on later, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoot scoot this way, and let the album show itself right here. So yeah, let's go ahead and review this album. Okay, before I get into the album reviewing it. I'm going to speak on who Maria Takeuchi is, if any of you guys don't know, so go ahead. I'll go ahead and put a little timestamp right here if you want to skip to the review. i also put it in the description box below as well if you want to do that. Okay, you're still here? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and read off a summary here and who Maria Takeuchi is with some pictures that I've gathered as well because I'm going to be reading them on my computer here right from Wikipedia. So, yeah. Alright, Maria Takeuchi is a Japanese singer and songwriter regarded as an influential figure in the city pop genre. She's one of the biggest, best-selling music artists in Japan, having sold over 16 million records and has received several accolades. Maria Takeuchi was born in Tashi Tashia... I'm just going to put some words that I don't really can't really pronounce on, on screen on... Um, in the video here, so Teisha Hakawa District, now the city of Izumo Shimane, and attended Keio University. She made her singing debut after singing with the RCA label in 1978, with whom she released her debut album Beginning, which peaked at number 17 on Oricon charts. She then released four albums between 1979 and 1981, all which obtained commercial success, including the 1980 album Love Songs, which became her first work to peak at number one on Oricon charts. Maria Takeuchi then announced that she would go on a temporary hiatus in 1981, term terminating her contract with RCA. Three years later, Maria Takeuchi and her husband, Tatsuro ya Yamashita, s signed with Moon Records, and she made her comeback with her sixth studio album, Variety, in 1984, which is the album we're reviewing today, which released in interna internationally and shot her mainstream, mainstream success and peaked at number one on Oricon charts. The track, Plastic Love, which was released in 1985 as a single. Became a surprise hit outside of Japan in 2017 after a YouTube upload of the song went viral. The song since a attained a cult following and is seen as a, as a stable in the re revival of interest in city pop in the late 2010s. Following the success of her vi ventures throughout the late 1970s and 1980s, Maria Takeuchi began releasing albums less frequently, her latest release being in 2014, as she shifted through, I mean, as she shifted her focus to work and release standalone singles. Since 1981, every single, every single she had released has charted on the Oricon charts she has stayed with the Moon Record label, working with different branches since singing in 1984 and since 1998. Has changed, signed with Warner Music Japan. And with with whom so, she 
re she released the single In Inochi no Yuta, or however you pronounce that, in 2012, for which she re-recorded in 2020, the latter of which charted at number one on Oricon Records, I mean Oricon Charts, making her the oldest singer to achieve a, a number one single. Alright, so I guess some of you guys know now who Marie Takeuchi is, besides my bad pronunciation. That's just because I have a reading disability, as you guys know. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's Marie Takeuchi's summary and um, everything she's done. Pretty interesting, right? Alright, now, we are going to go ahead and get into the songs. I'm going to be just reviewing them as I go and... Reviewing it as I go down and how well I know the song. Alright. Let's do it. Now, this is the Variety album right here. It's a pretty good it's a pretty good record actually. It's probably my favorite record of all time of hers and probably always will be, because honestly, it has this record has some of the best songs that she's ever written. You know, following the the Star Trek once again is a very Poppy song, and it has Tatsuya, Tatsuya Yamashita's raw vocals in it. A lot of these songs are going to have Tatsu, Tatsuya Yamashita's raw vocals in them, which are kind of comforting, and they're really good, actually, okay? It's pretty good. Sorry, I had to pull that joke, actually. And then Plastic Love is regarded as Maria Takeuchi's best song, actually. It's... Arguably one of the most comforting and definitely dare I say it I say it before again one of the best songs you could listen to while listening to in a cab in Japan at the nighttime during downtown similar with similar with how I explained with most of Macros's Cham and Sail Wave 1 they they they're all equally great they're all great Japanese 80s singles vibes that you can get while listening into just brightly lit cities while riding in a cab or an Uber. It's just so fucking good. And then the third song, Let's Get Married, properly explains, you know, a life that Murray Takeuchi, I guess, once uh, explained to have with uh, Tatsuyo, which, by the way, Tatsuyo Yamashita is Maria Takeuchi's husband, actually, if you guys didn't know. If you guys also didn't know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to also go off topic here for a minute. If you guys don't know that that song that uh, I released on on Mario the Hero with the Sailor Moon characters with their wave, hair wave blowing, that song is by uh, Tatsuyo uh, Yamoshita. I'm, I'm probably saying his name wrong every fucking time, but it's just so hard to pronounce some Japanese names. You can't really blame me or something like that. But yeah, the last song Let's Get Married is very comforting and definitely describes a life that Maria Takeuchi actually maybe planned to have but maybe didn't have. She explains a lot of times that she wants to have a dog, she wants to have a, a small house, and it's just a very comforting, comforting song all by itself, really, and just sounds great uh, sound-wise, basically. And with Tatsuyo Shiyamashita's comforting vocals yet again. Now, the song One Night Stand kind of reminds me of one of those YouTube musics. Actually, I can't remember what it's called, though. I don't even think I'm going to put it in... Put it anywhere near the video, actually, because I don't, I don't care to fucking search it up, actually, because it would take way too long, and I'm editing this video. So yeah, it sounds really good, actually. I mean, I don't really remember because I don't really listen to this song all that often, actually. But it's, I like the beginning part of it. Maria obviously singing, actually. I can't remember if uh, Yamashita's vocals are visible here, but uh, if they are. And cool, I'll, have to, I'll really have to re-listen to this album and then re-redo this video, actually. The song Broken Heart is very comforting, especially in the middle part where it has that kick-ass saxophone. Brilliant work, brilliant uh, instrumental and progression, and it's the, the movement with the song is definitely good. The song Night, the amphitheater, opens up with a very kick-ass uh, drum-esque, and, and then eventually explodes into a kaleidoscope of different sounds, actually. Which is probably Night the Amphitheater is probably Maria Takeuchi's heaviest song on this record, actually. With it clocking in the most time at three minutes max, actually. The song Irresistible Feeling really definitely 
gives me, it brings back some memories for me for some reason, even though I never really heard this song growing up or anything. I only first heard this song back when I was like 20 years old. And let me tell you guys, it's a completely different sound than all the rest of the album, actually, to be honest. And Maria's, Maria's raw vocals on this one is definitely one to remember. It's definitely an irresistible song. To, definitely irresistible, actually. Irresistible feeling, actually, hence the name. The song Mercy Beat has a very S guitar feel with Maria's good vocals and Tatsuya Yamashita's raw in the song at some point. It's um, it's definitely one of my favorite guitar uh, guitar songs on this list, actually, on, on this album, because of that of that reason alone. I mean, I don't know too, know too much about the rest of the song, but um, that's what I've heard um, listening to it, actually. I just like the progression. The progression is mostly good. Maria's good vocals and everything. You just can't you just can't beat most of this actually. And the song Water, You and the Sun definitely ha definitely starts out really good and then and then goes into this Japanese sound towards the middle and the end of the song. I like that actually. I like I like songs that have that experiment with one another actually. You know, some something that starts out with like a jazz vibe and then goes in, into this Japanese sound with this Japanese flute esque in the in the middle and the end with Maria's raw vocals. Oh my god, it it, it all of it together goes to go with one song definitely makes this definitely probably if not one of the best songs ever written that I've ever heard actually. The song Going Steady opens up with Tatsuya Yamashita's raw vocals yet again and explains about a song going steady, which by the way, if you if you don't know that that's what they did, actually, I guess. <laughs> I guess I got to throw that in at some point. But yeah, it's it's good, and has probably one of the heaviest 80s vibes to it that has ever been released worldwide, actually. Can't believe I haven't really listened to this when it first came out. Like, I mean, when we listen to Marie Takeuchi, most of us, our, our first song from her is definitely Plastic Love, most likely. I really don't know. I really don't have that much to admire about the song, uh, what's it called again? Uh, Sprinkle Your Cheeks Into Shapeland? I never, I don't think I've ever heard this one actually. I think this, this probably might have been a bonus or something like that on, on the, on the, on the tracks. Because, honestly every time I've seen, uh, Variety, I don't think I've ever seen that track actually. I definitely will probably listen to the song more actually, because I don't think I've ever heard it in my life actually, since I first Discovered Maria Takeuchi in 2018, but I'll definitely give it uh, a listen and um, give you guys another re-review, I guess, another video for this. Because, honestly, I need to review all her albums, not just Variety, which is my favorite album by her. Um, but that's about it, actually, guys. Um, I didn't have too much really to say about the albums that followed after, probably Night at the Amphitheater. But uh, I gave you guys uh, what I could, okay? I gave you guys what I could. It's because, honestly, I like listening to music, and when you find when you find that you have to review something for a video, if you or if you want to, you just don't have too much information because you just need to have it there set for you to hear it again. Because honestly, I mean, I mean you can, but if you know the song well, then you don't really need the help actually. But anyways, guys. Um, I'm going to be listening to more of the songs and giving you guys more of an opinion, but it's going to take a while till that video comes out because she has a lot of songs, especially on, um, what album was it again, actually? Was it her, um, uh, I, I don't remember, actually, but anyways, it was a song that, uh, it was the, it was the one that had her on it as well with, like, her sitting at a desk. I don't remember the I don't remember the exact album name actually, but that's that's a, what's one of her lengthy records, and it's gonna take me a while. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys got a taste. Go listen to this album; it's awesome. Anyways, guys, that's it. I'll see you guys on another video, and peace out.